Hello and welcome to the Freedompreneur Hot Seat, where I help freelancers and business owners, small business owners, break through the challenges to freedom and money. And I am Jean-Luc Boisneau. I am a business coach and a business system expert that has a mission, passionate mission to help as many entrepreneurs become free. So, Lisa, tell us where you are, what your name is, and what your business is, in a nutshell. Okay, my name is Lisa Briggs. I'm in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Um, my business is Bryce Photography. I do mostly pets or families with pets. That's my niche, my focus, and my passion or love for what I like to do, so. Okay, so what is the main problem right now in your business? Uh, right now, it's um, getting leads and turning them into paying clients. So right now, uh, I am doing uh, some trade shows. I do some um, calendar projects for charity. I'm also doing lots of auctions. So people I donate to the charity and people bid on that auction and the money goes to charity and then they get a bit of a discount on their photo session. Okay, who's your ideal client? Like who, if you look back at all your clientele, who, who is paying? Generally, it's my older clients. Um, either they have kids that are older like they've all left home or they don't have kids at all. So they, their pets are their focus. So same okay. either or, right? Either or, or I mean, they, my younger generation do purchase some time to time, but it's mostly the older generation that will want something for okay. sure. So Lisa, we got to eliminate all the younger generation. We got to focus on these older people that are actually bringing in money. So if we decide to, to go right after just them and them only, what kind of doors open up as you look at their lifestyle, where you could target them, where do they hang out, right? Is there anything that comes to mind around that? Yeah, so my charities do well. My auction charities do well. So continuing with that, um, as far as that, that's kind of where I get stuck, right? So, I mean, I can do... So I, I think just in defining right now that it's the older population and then that you define who that is, you can then look at, okay, well, where do retired people? So what I, I suggest you do is you write down, this is who my people, these are who my people are and start graphing out little bubbles saying, where do you think these people hang out? Like, okay, it could be uh, retirement homes, an option, uh, you know, the theater, uh, where the parks, all these places you think that they, they, uh, they hang out. Where do they hang out online? Where does the older population hang out online? Is there groups for them? Right. And the more you define your audience, right, and you just take out the fringe sort of minority clients that are, and you really focus on the people that, you know, um, you've been doing this for a while, so you know who actually pays, right? That's a sign it's telling you these, these are the people you need more. Then focus on that direction, on getting your message in front of all these people. Now, this is pet photography, right? So right. you also have people that post images about their pets. Like I'm not much of a pet person, you know, that will like put up photos or get a photo shoot. I'm not your, I'm not your ideal client at all, but there is people like that, right? That post pictures of their dog. How many direct messages are you sending when you see people p sending pictures of their dogs online? Um, direct, not very many messages. No, I wouldn't even know what to say without being creepy. Right. <laughs> Feel like, you know okay. what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So here, here's what you say. So you message them when you see them posting pictures about your dog, right? In your network, in your warm leads. These are people in your network that know of you, right? So it's not like you're being creepy, like some, like oh, okay. they know of you. So you message them and you say, Hey, I saw a picture of your dog. He's really cute. Do you know that I do 
pet photography. I'd love to do a little photo shoot. I have a few ideas. Right? And if you send that, you know, somebody may go, oh, actually, yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds like something I'd like to do. So on one side, I'm saying define your audience. So if it's the older population, create little bubbles, create a graph of everywhere they hang out and make sure that you have a presence there. The second thing is instead of uh, uh, an approach where it's inbound, where people are contacting you because you posted something in a group, I'm saying use the strategy of outbound also, of mm -hmm. noticing who's posting pictures of pets and reaching out every time you see them and just letting them know, hey, this is what I do. Or uh, another way, if you feel it's too direct for you, you can also let them know, hey, I'm looking for I'm looking to do photo shoots with pet owners. If you know anybody, let me know. OK, that's an indirect way of them saying, oh, well, I'm actually interested in this or yeah, maybe I, I you know, I have a friend that was talking about this. Okay, so those are two really actionable items that I feel could really benefit you. The other thing that I'm curious about is what your offer is. What's your offer when you do meet somebody? When I just meet somebody randomly in the park, for example, like want, if I just was yeah. like to hand out something. Yeah, um, what's the offer? What's the, the foot in the door? Um, it would be useful to have a, just a very specific, very clear offer that is a low barrier to entry. Okay, the lower the hanging fruit, the more people you're going to get. So if you get, if you offer, let's say, a first time shoot, a first, a first time shoot at a, at a lower rate as a first time, then maybe you're going to get that pet as a lifetime you know, throughout the lifetime of their life that you may be the photographer for them. So maybe you have a, a special offer for the one time, first time client to take a picture of their pet. Make it at a lower rate so you get your foot in the door and then you ha you can take pictures of other stuff or further along their journey. Okay. I would find some kind of name for it, maybe some kind of like just a one time offer for this specific thing. Maybe it's very low work for you, so you can go and take that one shot and then you're you're good, but you're gonna get them on follow-ups, follow-up sessions. Okay, yeah, does that help? Just, yeah, it could be just a, like an entry level, like they get um, 11 by 14 with a session. You know, I could just do that type thing. Exactly, exactly. Not, or an eight by 10, like I can print that in-house. like. So they get a session with a free eight by 10 with that or. Yeah. So just think about that. There's going to be some thinking involved. So one, sit down. So this is for everyone listening right now in your business and how you can apply it with your business. One, make sure you really define your, your audience, define who your ideal client is Two, then map out all the places that they, where they can be in, right? It's going to come give you ideas. If you're not, having an outbound strategy, you're missing out a lot. Make sure that you are DMing the right people and sending a lot of messages. Okay, that's a big part of it. Three, we talked about an offer. Make sure that your offer is a, a very uh, enticing first low barrier to entry offer. So it's easy for them to start and then you'll have a relationship and you'll be able to get more. So Thank you for being on, Lisa. Everyone Thank else, you. please comment, uh, comment, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, to my Spotify podcast, and stay tuned for other guests. I have a variety of different businesses coming on. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you.